hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to be talking to you about how exactly you can prepare for your next photo shoot although this is something a lot of clients don't always think about that much but once it gets closer to the date of the shoot panic arises and they begin to run up and down trying to communicate with the photographer oh do i need this what do i need what do i need and this pretty much makes it a bit difficult for the photographer because them themselves do have a lot of preparation to make they also have other clients as well that um that are dealing with so hopefully some of these things i'm going to be giving you is going to pretty much help you prepare well for your next photo shoot the first thing you need to do is to decide on the type of photography shoot you're actually going for are you going for a headshot are you going for a portrait shoot are you going for a fashion shoot or a fitness shoot this the reason why this is important is because it actually makes it easier for your photographer to build an image on some ideas that might work really really well for your shoot the second thing um, you can do to prepare well for your next photo shoot is actually to have some ideas of different poses you can use for the shoot actually the, the truth is many clients actually don't always think about this but trust me it actually makes it easier for the photographer to actually take your pictures during that time although it's not really a problem for the photographer to give you cues and ideas of different poses but the truth is your confidence actually increases if you're able to come up with your own thoughts and your own ideas or poses that you think will work really 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 well for you now the third thing i would say is you need to communicate with your photographer when it comes to choices of outfits okay trust me this is very 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 important and this is not something that needs to be done um last minute or very very late or closer to the time when the shoot is taking place the reason why i'm saying this is because depending on the type of shoot you're doing let's say for example you're doing a studio shoot okay the photographer would have to decide on the type of backdrop they're going to be using but well, the very idea really is to make you stand out in the picture if you get where i'm coming from so yeah if you're communicating with your photographers earlier about the type of outfit you're wearing the color of outfit how you're styling that outfit actually makes your photography um day much easier for you the next thing you're going to do is actually to agree on a date when your photo shoot is going to be taken place the reason why is because a lot of photographers actually take a lot of bookings and sometimes it actually makes it easier for them to organize a time and their calendar really really well once you've been able to communicate on a date the photographer is able to put into diary and actually block out that particular time that you're doing your photo shoot the next thing you need to do is actually to pay your deposit to your photographer before the day of the photography shoot deposits collected from photographers actually ranges from around five percent to fifty percent and the rest of the payment is given to the photographer either on the day of the um, photo shoot or after the pictures have been received uh, again it depends really on what the photographer really really wants now the last thing um, you need to do and i think is so so important is to make sure you communicate in time with your photographers okay what, or your videographers you know one of the main things really i've seen from clients is you know running late to um shoots without really speaking to the, to the photographer or cancelling last minute before the photo shoot this does not really really look good on your side as a client it is so important that you make sure you you know communicate with your photographer in time at least three days four days before the shoot and if maybe you're running late on the day of the shoot please let your photographer know in time because sometimes what would happen is your photographer might have a shoot um, within the next few hours after you're gone and sometimes they may need to make um, preparations so you communicating with them actually makes it easier for your photographer to adjust time if it's really really neat if you haven't yet subscribed to the youtube channel please do make sure you subscribe to the channel if you've got any questions or any other topics you want me to talk about on my next couple of videos please do let me know in the comment section below i hope you've learned quite a lot and i'll see you on the next video have a great day